News headlines. News headlines. Jesus loves you. You have no choice not to love him. God in his love, sent him to die for you. Thanks to God we meet here. Please never deny him and in all you do, always say, Jesus on your word I stand. Save me Lord. Remember to share to others, you never can tell, whom you will give hope to. It's you been in the map of his glory. Good day. The rest of the news. Yeah, good morning everyone. I know that people have been waiting to know yes, who are the real people chaining Mr. President. If you are conscious, if you are alive, you really know that yes, Mr. President looks in chain. And who are those really who are chaining him? Those who submit ministerial lists, who brought all the recycled politicians to come and rule us again in the dispensation when people are thinking about the jet aid. People are, people are really being innovative and you brought all the recycled people. You are among those who are chaining Mr. President. Some of these ministers were brought maybe due to their academic excellence. Look, let me tell you, academics does not mean or does not guarantee productivity. So it may be good to be lecturers in school. Keep them there. If you are in government office, you have your duties. You are paid salary and you are not working in consonance with what the constitution of the country says. You are chaining Mr. President. You are among those who are chaining him. You are chaining his policies. And when you chain a man's policy, you are chaining him. You are holding him to ransom that he cannot function. And if you are a policeman and you are taking bribe, you are among those who are chaining Mr. President. Look at your counterparts, our brothers, the military guys, the armies who are fighting Boko Haram. Do they take bribe? Do they negotiate? Do they give chances? Of course they are facing death and they are deportating you and I. I'm sorry to say this, the ministers, they have not delivered well. Maybe I will say the Fashola is trying because I know that um, stability of Nepal now is better than what it used to be at least two years before they came into power. It deteriorated to that extent because those who surrounded good luck were vultures. If not, most of the ministers, I say, you are chaining Mr. President. Sit up to your duty. If not, let him change them. I'm sorry to say, I don't, I don't care whose bull is God. Let us call a spade a spade. Many of you are not functioning well. I know they will say, okay, maybe because there's no more in the system. Think. Think. And that brings me to say also, if you are a governor of this country and you cannot pay your staff, you cannot figure out how things are going to be settled in your state and looking for a way to borrow money, you are also chaining Mr. President. Look at Anambra. Does Anambra dig oil? Does Anambra sell oil? I mean the crude oil. But the man is able to pay salary. The man is able to control his state. This example of those who are not chaining Mr. President, they are not chaining the policies. Many governors will say you cannot pay salary. What are you telling me? The money given to you, the budget given to you before, was it just to be swallowed? Was it not for you to recycle something and do something? Can't you pay? Can't you think? Most of you cannot think. Now you fight for the past, the past be given to you. You are among those chaining Mr. President because you are changing his policies. You are changing the policies of this country. You are changing this country. You are changing the youths. We are tired of you people. And of course, most of you shouldn't come back as governors. Any governor that cannot pay salary, right now that is complaining and cannot generate internal revenue to be able to control his state should just resign we'll give you honor for that because you are among those chaining mr president the man has beautiful policies the man has ideas so people will say he's too old granted he's an old man yes he may have his weak points I am not his man, but you have to be straight. But if you are a governor, you cannot deliver. You are looking for where to borrow money. You are among those who are chaining Mr. President. And I'll tell you that. There is time of reckoning for everybody. Whether you like it or not. 
I'm talking to you today. I may not be here tomorrow. So other person will talk to you. The likes of Mutala Muhammad, Kadnan Zogo, all those who have the mind of this country at heart. These are those who never changed Mr. President. Even though you have ruled before Mr. President came in, you have changed him because you destroyed things. I know those who were there before will say, oh, it's like we're exonerated, you know? No, you are not exonerated. If you have ruled this country badly, if you have once said this country in any form, in any capacity, and you fail to deliver, you are among those changing Mr. President. Because, because the remnant, the effect, the after effect, the aftermath of what you have done is among what is keeping this country like this today. Look at Nigeria. They call the great economy of Africa. We are suffering. Of course, I'm not among those who preach them, getting jobs. Just wait until they give you a job. No, do something. Find something doing. Yes, you have to be creative. Even the so-called men, of, in fact, I call them men of gods. In your churches, some of these ministers, they go to church. The so-called honorables, they go to church. When they come to your church, what do you preach? What do you tell them? You are among those chilling Mr. President because you don't see the truth. Interested in the statements they give you, in the peanuts, and you sing their praises and you not tell them the truth. Go and read the Bible. None of the prophets ever worshipped their honorables. And here you are, man of God, claim to be anointed. Pastors supposed to be preachers, but it is a pity that people are not preachers. They are nothing but praise singers. And that is why I call them men of gods. Men of gods or man of gods. They are not a man of God. Think within you and know what is energizing you. Is it the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God who created heaven and earth? That is why I cannot say the truth because the Bible says, Iniquity has covered my mouth. If you like this video, please click the button below to share, like and subscribe to our channel, and you will be receiving this on daily basis. We appreciate you as you subscribe and share.